office space. Let me tell you something about TPS reports. Yes. Is that does it is that sort of a couple option? jumps? Yeah, that couple jumps later, and that was a that was another similar thing. That how many how many episodes of this podcast have you done? A hundred. Yeah. So there's a thing where if something lasts long enough, eventually it comes around to you because they, you run out of everybody else. Right. That's what happened with Office Space. Um, Mike Judge had this movie, never done a live action movie, wrote it, wanted to do it. Um, Fox, he was making Fox a bazillion dollars on King of the yep. Hill. They wanted to keep him happy. They wanted to let him make this movie. Um, they had two diametrically opposed ideas of what a movie was and what the movie should be. So he wanted to cast sort of a nobody um, who didn't look like a movie star. Hello. Uh, Fox wanted to cast like a movie star. Um, and those two circles did not intersect anywhere in the Venn diagram. They're, they're just, they didn't. Yeah. So they saw probably every male actor in Hollywood and one side or the other said, no, that's not the guy. 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 And then by the time they got to me, um, as like one of the very last people on the list of guys to look at, the Venn diagrams had like morphed just <laughs> close enough together that uh, Fox was, you know, they got to a point where they're like, all right, we don't care. Uh, we're just doing this to make you happy anyway. So go make your, you know, go make your movie. Uh, and if you, if you want to use that guy, use that guy. Yeah. Uh, and what's the it's small budget right sm i'm thir 12 13 million no, it's not, not tiny. you know yeah no no not tiny it looks small budget because <laughs> that's Mike's sensibility yeah it looked a lot better until he walked around the set and tore all the decor you that's know so funny yeah all the stories but uh yeah so that's again that was just another really uh it, on the one hand it's serendipity because you happen to be in the right place at the right time uh, on the other hand, it's like, well, the reason you're in the right place is at the right time is because you've been standing in that place for, you know, 10 years now, like waiting for something to happen. Yeah. What year was that? It was 90. That was, came out in 99. So I think uh, we made it probably 98. So okay. 98. It's a, one of those long tail movies where it doesn't yeah. open especially well, right? Or did it? No. It uh, tanked in the opening. Um, it was one of those where getting it was a huge coup. Uh, as it got closer to coming out, it was clear that they uh, Fox was just kind of dumping it. Yeah. So that did nothing, and then it the you know it just started this slow ramp of uh, of like returns where it yeah. just kept. I th I think what it was was like home video really started coming into yeah. its own and being a thing, especially for comedies. Especially because like I, me and Chappelle made Half Baked back then, and it was like didn't do well at all. And then slowly but surely, and Sandler's first Happy Gilmore and Billy Madison didn't do well either. And then slowly, and then a video was like, "Have you seen this?" Yeah, and, and were you guys on Comedy Central? Because that was another yeah. Huge piece oh yeah, of yeah. It. Once yeah, we got on Comedy Central like wallpaper, and then and then we did Chappelle Show based on kind of like, well, this keeps doing well, so. um did you, and did you, how did you, were you, did you resent that art? Cause it doesn't really help. It doesn't really help you uh, that, that it, the only thing that works is like huge opening. It doesn't yeah. matter how it does on DVD or, or home video. It's like, did it open? Then you can do other stuff. So if it doesn't open, what happens? Not a lot. You know I mean? It, you, you've kind of, you kind of realize the gains of like, oh, you have a better agent now based on yeah. you booked it and they think something's going to happen. So you're still the spaghetti that's kind of getting thrown at the wall uh, yeah. in some things. Um, I don't know. You know, I was naive to a lot of that stuff as it was happening. Uh, I wasn't really a student of the the game of the game. Right. So I didn't, a lot of times I didn't By the way, it doesn't help. That. I, yeah, I mean, some doesn't people help it to does. know, but what can you either people want to watch you or they don't? Sure. So I think like knowing where to back packaging and all that stuff is kind of like, mm. yeah, no, I, I just mean like the mogul part of it of yeah. like this, and I can leverage that into this. And, and I, I was just kind of a little oblivious to it. I, I, I was amazed when I saw the movie at because I thought it was really good. Yeah. Uh, and I hadn't expected it to be good based on what it seemed like the, the fact that they were dumping at it. I was like, I guess it must not have worked. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I was just really proud of it. 
Great. And were you like, oh, I was good. Yeah. Like, good. I was. Yeah. Because it's not, being the star of a movie is not like a, it's not, it, it's not a hard, like it's hard, like, you know, like digging ditches or something, but it is a weird thing to be able to be in almost every scene. Yeah. And peep and like cut to you and you're like, what am, what am I doing now? I'm interested in this guy for some reason. Yeah. It's uh, I mean, it's, t- it, it is, it's a little like getting shot out of a gun. Yeah. Um, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, you know, as a kid, you always dream I'd be an NFL quarterback. But I think if they like stuck me next Sunday out there on the field and snap you the ball, like that's kind of, t- I would, you know what I mean? It's hard yeah. to know what to do. You don't now. know what your body's going to do. Doing, yeah. You know, like, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so there's a lot of that feeling, even though a lot of it what is, is like, the, and this know. is the heart. Okay. What if somebody finds themselves the lead in a movie? Yeah. <laughs> what advice would you give them that's a very broad question but but to the point of like you know being an nfl quarterback i actually direct commercials and i did one for lowe's with a bunch of uh, dak prescott and all this so what's the coverage it's easy. two cans dallas cowboys navy that's a big play and i was asking dak like in during the game yeah. do you are you like monitoring yourself and like are you going like i fuck that up i fuck that up and he's like no there's no time he goes i i will like on monday or tuesday but during the game you cannot uh you can't really the self-talk has got to be forward moving what's the what's the movie star version of that i'd say and it's it's gonna seem a little cheesy but three parts one take a deep breath okay just take a deep breath (laughs) you know yeah take you know that's yeah because then you go from like (sighs) <sighs> yeah gotta start there uh-huh uh two is be yourself be you know that's all you got right now uh-huh can't be somebody else you got to be yourself and number three is just do whatever it is that got you in this position right now to be doing this whatever something you did something to wind up here are you aware of what what that is not necessarily or were you aware back then what you like when you watched the movie were you like yeah. oh i'm good at X. What I, were the- yes, I knew. I understood. I just understood Mike's sense of humor. I understood that. Uh, I understood that character. Did you see yourself as a Mike surrogate? Meaning, like, I'm representing. No, sometimes I have. Sometimes I have. But Mike's background was like completely like Mike was a bass player. Mike was right. A, yeah, I, I had done, you know, like I was a computer guy. So I understood a little bit of software engineering, but he'd actually like been a software engineer. Um, the piece of it that I understand is that like my survival gig for all those years was I was a temp secretary. So I'd worked in every office you could imagine. Uh, I'd worked in law firms. I'd worked in like insurance firms i'd worked for you know i did mail in universe so like i understood that uh in a way and i kind of and i just also understood that like that humor of nothing works and everything you know like i grew up watching watching uh oliver hardy do those slow burns yeah of just uh you know just like i just knew that yeah. Uh, so to me, that's the part of it that I understood, and I just said, I, I'm just going to do that. Would you walk us through a typical day for you? Yeah. Great. Well, I generally come in at least 15 minutes late. Yeah. It's all sitting with you. It's you are good at like, what's going on? They, like if you had a. <laughs> If you had a musical note, it would be like, so what? what's happening? What are we doing exactly? Yeah. <laughs> Why is this? Which, what, huh? well, I was just kind of like, you know, because um, there's two things. There's like, what would I do uh, if I were in this situation? Yeah. But even that kind of involves planning. <laughs> you know, there's a lot uh-huh. of planning that goes, what would I do? Right. And if you don't have that capacity to kind of necessarily do that plan or remember that plan, you're sort of stuck just being like, Okay, what's happening? <laughs> you know? Yeah. And now you're just doing the thing that you would do because you don't have a you don't have anything else planned to do so you now you're just doing that. <laughs> so was that a la- was the lack of prep do you see yourself as like you didn't prep for that at all? Or was it 
in it like you would judge it except it worked yeah i had a lot of things like preparation the kind of preparation uh that like i think it takes to write a novel or outline an like, outline yeah an outline and a, and and time management and da 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 uh, the only two things that have ever allowed me to, and I can, I can deep dive, I can deep dive, but the only two things that have ever powered it are curiosity, like, oh, what's this? And I'm going to spend 10 hours, like, trying to understand that uh, while people are, you know, telling, yelling at me that I'm late for something. Uh <laughs> or just sheer panic because uh, something's due in an hour and a half and I forgot to do it. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.